Um, so, I've had a few people ask me, what do you need to start wild swimming? Um, well, the good thing is technically, you don't need anything at all. However, you may scare some of the locals, so uh, just watch out who's about. Uh, you don't want to go offending anybody, um, but be free. Um, apart from that, next up you could have some uh, swimming costumes, swimming trunks, whatever you're comfortable in. Um, on top of that, something you will see a lot of people on Instagram using is a bobble hat. Um, you must have a bobble on top, that is very, very important. Um, it is practical as well when you're swimming in the water, um, in the cold, cold water in the winter months. It will actually keep um, some of that heat in, especially when you get out of the water. Um, an extra tip is, on top of that, if you don't want to wear a bobble hat, you want to put your head under the water, uh, wear a swimming hat. Some people do wear two swimming hats, it just helps hold a bit more heat in. Um, and then a tip for when you get out of the water is, you can keep your swimming hat on and put a bobble hat or a beanie on on top of your swimming hat to help um, help you warm up that little bit faster. Um, after that, you may see some people, quite a lot of people actually, will either wear neoprene gloves or neoprene boots or both. Um, the reason is that as soon as you jump into cold water, all of your blood rushes from your extremities into your core to keep your vital organs warm. Um, that's why you will see quite a few people wearing uh, neoprene gloves, neoprene brutes, um, etc. Then after that, the next piece of equipment you will see people using is um, a tow float. Tow floats are excellent. They're brilliant because you can stash all of your belongings in there. Um, it helps keep you visible to other water users. So for any you know paddle boarders, kayakers, boats, um, it is useful. They shouldn't be used as a flotation device. So don't use them there um, if you think you're going to get into trouble. They do float slightly, but they're not to be used as a flotation device. Then, if it is in the winter months, you don't think you can quite handle the cold or sometimes you're entering a race that they're required, or you want to go on a longer training swim, a wetsuit is an excellent bit of kit. Now you could, uh, if you have a surfing wetsuit or a wetsuit for other sports, you can use them. However, a swimming specific wetsuit, they're a little bit just, a little bit looser, a little bit thinner in the arms. They are made to go at that little bit quicker. They've got a smooth skin on them. So don't be surprised, that I was really surprised when I entered my first uh, triathlon actually with a wetsuit, that like my per 100 meter time suddenly came right down. That's because wetsuits do keep that little bit more buoyant and they're a lot, lot more streamlined through the water. So they do make you quicker. They do take a little bit of getting used to, one thing I do recommend using is an anti-chafe stick for your neck and for around your wrists and your ankles, um, especially when swimming in salt water. I don't get it so much in fresh water, but every time I swim in um, salt water, I get a really bad rash around where my, um, where my wetsuit is, especially I mostly breathe to the right hand side. My New Year's resolution this year is to breathe bilaterally. Um, it's going okay so far. Always pick achievable things, that's what I say. Um, so, but always use some anti-chafe uh, stick around your neck because it, it can get very, very red and raw very, very quickly, especially in salt water. Um, then, apart from that, you may see sometimes I do wear fins out in the water. That's normally when it's pretty choppy conditions um, that I think it might be um, a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a current somewhere. It just gives me that extra confidence that um, you've got that extra power if you do need it. It's also really fun because you go super fast. Um, just be aware that if you're not used to fins, they will tie your legs out quicker. So it could get it can be a double edged sword that you know gives you a bit more speed, a bit more power, but you may get tired out, you may get cramps a bit quicker. And so make sure you're used to swimming with them. I swim with them at least once, twice a week in my pool training. So fins are an excellent bit of kit that you can use on top. Um, you have a wetsuit. What else do you have? I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, my favourite, my favourite piece of equipment that you use in the water is. At the end of the swim, a changing robe. Now I've just got a toweling robe, you can get the full on jackets. They're brilliant, they save your modesty, um, but they also keep you really warm and it just makes it so much easier changing once you're out in the water. Okay guys, so that's it for what you need to start wild swimming. Um, if you've got anything else that you use when you go out there, please put it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and then keep on swimming in them jewels. Cheers guys.